Good day, grade 8, and to my fellow technical drawing teachers, I'm Sir Ravi, and welcome to my technical drawing class. At ang lesson natin ngayon is about oblique drawing. Okay, actually, ang oblique drawing ay isa sa mga halimbawa ng mga pictorial drawings. Pictorial drawings are important elements of working drawing because they show the graphic representation of an object as it appears on the observer's eye. Kung ano mismo ang nakikita ng mata ng tao sa isang object, yun yung mismo pinapakita ng pictorial drawings. At isa nga sa mga halimbawa ng pictorial drawings ay ang oblique drawing, isometric drawing, at perspective drawing. Okay, we have three types of pictorial projection. The first one, ito yung alam natin kapag gumagawa tayo ng isometric drawing. Both sides, 30 degrees and 30 degrees, ang tawag natin dito ay isometric pictorial projection. All receding axis ay 30 degrees and that is isometric pictorial projection. The second one is 15 degrees and the other one is 45 degrees. Ang tawag naman natin dito ay diametric pictorial projection. Again, for diametric uh, pictorial projection, the other side is 50 degrees and the other side is 45 degrees. And the last one is uh, trimetric pictorial projection. All receding edges or axis are 15 degrees and 15 degrees both sides ito. Again, isometric pictorial projection, both sides or all receding edges are 30 degrees and for diametric pictorial projection, 15 degrees and 45 degrees and trimetric pictorial projection, both sides are 15 degrees and 15 degrees. Okay, let's start with the discussion about oblique drawing. Cavalier drawing, width, height, and depth in full size. General, width and height are full size while its depth is two-third. Cabinet drawing, width and height in full size while its depth is one-half. Okay, that is cabinet drawing. Okay, let's start with the steps in constructing cavalier and cabinet oblique drawing. Okay, first of all, orthographic projections are drawn on one side of the sheet. Daana, one side of the sheet, one side of the sheet, whether it's a left side, whether it's a right side, nakalagay yung orthographic projection. Bakit kailangan natin ito? Para mabuo natin yung pinaka-oblique drawing na. It's either cavalier or cabinet. Next, draw the horizontal and vertical axis. Pata yung linya, vertical axis and horizontal axis, pahigang linya. Perpendicular dito each other. Okay, next, determine the side or the surface to be made parallel to the picture plane. Ayan yung pinaka front view ng ating object. As you can see, ito ay in parallel lines, ang picture plane. Yung pinaka harapan. Ayan, draw this surface in orthographic form using the vertical and horizontal axis as baseline. Get your measurement from given orthographic drawing. Commonly, kapag ginagawa natin ng uh, oblique drawing is either cavalier or cabinet, uh, inuuna natin yung pinaka front view. At binabase natin yung sukat again sa orthographic drawing. Okay? Draw the cross axis. Ano yung mga cross axis na yan? Use 30 degrees cross axis for cavalier and 45 degrees cross axis for cabinet drawing. Again, gagawa tayo o magdo-drawing tayo ng cross axis. Dalawa yung axis natin. We have 30 degrees cross axis for cavalier and 45 degrees cross axis for cabinet. Ito yung halimbawa sa cavalier, 30 degrees 
and sa cabinet, 45 degrees axis. Okay. Next, lay out the measurement along the cross axis. In cavalier drawing, this measurement is in equal measure to its corresponding size in orthographic view. Kung babalikan natin, yung cavalier drawing ay in full size. Again, in full size, equal measurement sa orthographic. Kung ano mismo yung sukat sa orthographic, yun mismo ang gagamitin natin sa cavalier. Sa cabinet naman, ang mangyayari doon sa depth niya, magiging one half from its original size sa orthographic view. Okay, draw all visible edges. Again, to contour all the visible edges, we use visible line or visible lines. If required, kung kinakailangan, supply the hidden edges using hidden line. And of course, we always check our drawing accuracy. Kung tama ba yung lalong-lalo na yung sukat na ginamit. Natin. For cavalier, we use full size and for cabinet, we use one half of its depth. And that's it. Those are the steps in constructing oblique drawing. Commonly, ang ginagawa lang naman nating oblique ay ang cavalier oblique and cabinet oblique. Good luck and thank you for watching.